We've all heard man's best friend is a dog, and the same goes for Esme, the rhino. Um, wait, how's that work? Well, when Esme was only a month old, her mother, a first-time mum, was unable to produce milk. She didn't quite understand what happened. Why was I taken away from my mother? And then we started bottle feeding her, giving her all the love and attention that we could uh, muster up. In the wild, baby rhinos rely heavily on their mums for comfort, safety, and to learn to graze. If they're lonely and depressed, rescued babies have been known to refuse food. Esme needed a friend, badly, but unrelated adult rhinos would not bond with her. <laughs> Enter David. Come David. From the first time uh, that they met one another, they were loving towards one another. And it was a match made in heaven for them. Come David. Come Esme. Shh, shh, shh. If she was feeling down, David would go and lick her. They were always together, they were inseparable. Come David. So they basically just grew up together. A bond truly like no other. They played together for almost a year, but nature caught up with them. Esme grew a lot faster than David did. She stepped on his foot and he got a bit injured. And his back got a bit hurt. We took care of him, he was completely fine again. And then we had to take David away from her. Esme soon became depressed. Alone again and in need of a new best friend, the center brought in Millie, a young lamb with a herding instinct perfectly suited to hang with a growing rhino. Esme was a bit scared. She didn't really know what this thing is, and she's used to David. She's always been used to David. So it took us a few weeks to introduce them to one another, and then Esme got used to her. A year and a half later, as Esme's health improved, their bond continued to grow. But despite their size difference, Millie holds her own at lunchtime. Millie is a very strong personality. She's a very good companion. She teaches her how to defend herself. I mean, Millie tries to hit Esme with her head, you know, and then basically that would teach Esme how to use her own horn as a defense mechanism against other rhinos or predators. But some threats are tough to defend against. Esme's been bitten by a snake right between her toes. Until her wounds heal, her movement has to be limited. Looks like she's crying because she doesn't really want to be confined. Hmm, the humans can't make her feel better. But you know who might have an idea? Her old pal, David. Well, I think this could be a very good distraction for her, having her old friend come back and play with her a bit and give her that love and attention that, she, that, uh, that he normally gave to her. I think it would be very nice for both of them, actually. It's been some time, but the best of friends pick up right where they leave off. David, he just loves nibbling on a horn probably just taste very interesting to him. Uh, he used to do that when she was little as well. Esme is starting to realize that they are all-time friends. Slowly but surely, Esme is starting to defrost, if you can say that, basically. Happy and fast becoming healthy again, Esme's sense of home resides in her friendships. With these animals 24-7, and you give them the love and affection to get rehabilitated. This is rewarding because it, it pays off. They walked out and the first instinct was just to run. To be free. She will go back into the wild and live a happy life there. Until then, she's got her pals to lean on. What are best friends for? <laughs>